What's up everybody? So we were just kind of out on an evening drive. We're down in South Dakota. We're gonna look for some fair burns and whatever else we can find. Pulled up to a area, bunch of rock here. We're gonna look around, then maybe we'll move on. Uh, tomorrow morning, that's when we're gonna get going and really do some exploring. But we thought we'd come out the evening before and kind of do some scouting, as they say, or something. Let's see what's out there. I have no doubt that this area is probably gets hit pretty decently hard We're right off the highway in an ATV area and uh, so it's easy to get to but there's a lot of rock here and you never know we're just kind of dinking around today so maybe we'll find something everybody missed. Well, I walked up to this butte kind of off the highway. Just curious if there's any rock to look at over here. There is some rock, but I don't think it's the right kind. Only got a little bit of daylight left. So I'm just gonna kind of explore around right around here and see what comes up. Looks like it's probably some dinosaur bone or something. Definitely bone. It's kind of interesting. This is rock around the outside. Those are teeth. That's fossilized teeth of some kind. No idea what to, but. Not a lot of rock here. There's just a couple here and there. But maybe that means it's not as big over. I don't know. But this looks pretty. Kind of neat. Look at this piece just kind of ended up sitting against that stump of whatever that is, sagebrush. Rock leaning there. Kind of ended up sitting there. It's kind of neat. I better get back before it gets too dark to see and I end up stepping on a snake or something. Better luck tomorrow. It is day two. We're out here late morning. We came back to Railroad Buttes this time. We're gonna take side by side and get back in their ways and see what we can find. Kim might have already found something. We were just parked here, unloaded side by side, and she was looking at the ground and look at this. Got some color, you can kind of see some bands. Like there's agate just underneath. Kind of hard to tell, but we haven't even rinsed it off yet, so let's get it wet. We may have to cut it just to find out what's in it on another time. Anywho, we got rocks to find, so let's go.
All righty, we're at a spot. We just decided to park, and we're gonna go check out all the gravel up to there, and see this area, and see what we see. This looks like it could be a really pretty prairie, I get. Look at the pattern. It's got a lot of pattern on it. Kim will be proud. I have a pretty little bubble gum. Kind of red, white, and black. Laying right in here. Another pretty prairie agate next to this cactus that I don't want to stick my hand into. Look at that prairie agate. It's a pretty one. Kim's gonna like that one. So far, I haven't even found a signer, but it's not like the river where the agates, like the Montana moss agates glow, so you can spot them easily. These you gotta take your time, which I'm terrible at. I like to cover ground. So when I probably should be standing in one spot looking at every little rock, trying to see a pattern and spot little stuff, I'm just kinda, Scanning quick and going over it. Probably isn't the thing to do. There's another prairie egg. Right there. And there's a few prairie eggs around. I've seen something up here. Look at this prairie egg. That's got some neat pattern on it. On top there. So yeah, I gotta keep telling myself to slow down. Take your time. But when you do find one, pretty special. So, eventually. Hopefully, this trip. But. That's a nice prairie agate. It's getting hot. Kim and Abs are in the side by side sitting in the air conditioning because they're smart. I'm out here on the side of a hill trying not to slip and fall on my butt looking at rocks. But there's so many pretty rocks. I just don't want to quit looking. Lots of bubblegum agates, lots of prairie agates. Not even a Fairburn signer yet though. That's the way it goes. I'm there, look up and look at this. Big piece of petrified wood. So different here. Well, it's hot. So we're gonna drive around, do some exploring. I don't know if we'll do any more rock hunting today or not, but it is warm. But we found some prairie agates, bubble gums, different things. But air conditioner feels nice. <laughs> and water's tasting pretty good. So anyway, let's go do some looking around. It is hot. <laughs> it's about 90 degrees out. I just got to look around. We drove around. We went quite a few miles to a different spot. Now look at this how much the rock has changed. Look at all these sheets of chalcedony. And it's just littered with them. So, some of them just sound like glass. So I'll probably pick up a few of them if they look like they have a pattern in them, maybe cut them. 
So, anyway, I'm just gonna go for a short walk here and see if I, and then I'll go back to the side by side and cool off and find another spot to look. This one was wanting to be one so bad. Just couldn't quite make it. I'm a neat prairie I get though. Couple neat ones here. Prairie agate. Got some cool colors. And just as I was looking at that, I looked over and look at this guy. It's kind of neat too. I think I might just sit here for a bit. Mainly because I just slipped and fell on my butt. <laughs> I'm okay. <sighs> Loose gravel. Luckily, I didn't have any cactus under me. That would have been interesting. It's like a red, almost carnelian. A little glow, not really. We got another prairie over here that has some red in it. It's kind of neat. Kind of pretty. I don't know what this is. Kind of crazy looking. There's another one over here. Yeah, because it's from the same rock. <laughs> That's different. Huh. Kind of a neat prairie agate. Banding's a little more straight. Well, we have spent all day out here and found some bubble gums and a few neat things, but no Fairburns. She found a couple signers right outside the door of the side by side, of course, just little ones. But I think we're gonna head back and maybe call it a day. Made it back to the truck. We're gonna get loaded up, head in town, get something to eat, and uh, see what tomorrow brings. We'll see you then. Well, it's about five in the morning. Got up at four, it's gonna be hot today. Getting close to 100 degrees. Unfortunately, Kim didn't feel like going out this early. She wanted to take a rest day. She's gonna keep Abby with her since it's gonna be so hot today, probably best. I'm gonna go out, I got about an hour's, a little over an hour's drive. Uh, I'm gonna go to the Kanata Basin, which is kind of the area we first went to when we started the video out. But I'm gonna take the Ranger and I'm gonna go a little farther back in there. See if we can find something before it gets hot.
Sun is barely up. It's seven exactly right now, and I can already feel the heat off of it. Ugh. Why can't it be a 70 degree day? It gets there as soon as we go back home, then it cools off. Quite the luck, huh? Oh, simmer down, I'm not after you guys. Let me know where our fur burn is though. This one almost acts like it's wanting to be. Just not quite there. That'd be pretty tumbled though. So, I'll keep it. Kind of a neat bubble gum. I think it's a bubble gum. A different black and orange. Well, what's up, Cal? Oh, I thought you were coming to say hi. Thought maybe you had a fair burn for me. Guess I was just checking out my pack. And to steal my rocks. Get out of here, Cal. God dang you. Here, I thought you were going to be friendly. You're trying to take my rocks. This one looks like it's got eyes in it. Maybe kind of neat. And then here's a pretty prairie agate. I'm gonna fill my pack up with other stuff before I even find a Fairburn. I mean, that's pretty normal, but you get what I'm saying. Anyway. I just seen this kind of a bubble gum. And I looked up. And I don't know. Ouch, rocks are hard on the knees. I don't know if it's a fair burn, but it's got a pattern. Give it a lick. It's definitely got a pattern. Just am not sure if that's fair burn. It might be. Let me get my phone out and get a closer look at it. I'll have to confirm with some people in the know, see if it's actually a fair burn or not. If it is, I, I just don't know. It's definitely got a pattern, but it's just not as distinct as I thought maybe it might be. It might be it's just not polished up. I don't know. Either way, I like it. Hey, little guy. Were there any fair burns there? No? All right. I may have found something. I see a slight pattern, but I'm not positive. That guy right there. Oh, 
Look at that prairie hang. That is a pretty one. Well, it's starting to warm up faster and faster out here. So I think I need to start heading back. I still have some water. I just haven't found, found a couple that could be signers, but I'm just looking for that one where you look at it and there's just no doubt that that is a Fairburn. Of course, that's what everybody wants, right? But anyway, it's a little over to 80 degrees now and I just looked at my phone and it's supposed to get to 102. So I got a little ways back to the Ranger, so I'm gonna start working my way back. I wanna keep looking, but it's just gonna get hot, too hot. And my window for finding a fair burn is closing rapidly. But we're not back yet, there's still time. Man, this prairie agate made me do a double take. Made my heart jump. Still very pretty, but for a second there I thought, oh, is that a nice Fairburn? Nope. Still pretty though, I'll take it. color on that prairie agate. Well, headed back. It is hot. I'm bushed. I don't know what the temperature is. Uh, 93. Only 10 more degrees to go. Nine, whatever. Anywho. I think I'm gonna get loaded up and head back. I know Potter River's not in South Dakota. We're in Montana because I spaced on doing the outro to the video. So we're actually up to the going. We're actually going up to the Yellowstone to do another video, and thought better do our outro. Oh, look at you, Miss Lovey Dovey over here. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. We did have a great time, found some neat stuff, still looking for that Jimmy Fairburn. We hope you're doing well, and we'll see you guys on the next one.
You didn't eat my crumble cookie, did you? Evers, did you eat my crumble cookie? Oh, you look so guilty. You look so guilty. Oh, now you're gonna run away? Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah you did fool me. You're a turd. Hey, let's go, come on. Hold up. Fooling me, eating my crumble cookie. You better not. That's it. Hey, hey, no, in here, let's go. Goofball. Never a dull moment.